<laughs> in the I'm so happy to see you. Booked and busy. <laughs> Booked and busy. That you should look be so pretty. Thank you, mom. I got to do an event later, so I put makeup you on look today. Good. For you. And also, you were coming. I don't want to be here looking slouch. No, well, no makeup on my face. I know you well, and you know me well. So it's, all, <laughs> it's all good. What's up, baby? Like you said, just. Booked and busy. Like no, that should be like your hashtag. <laughs> Booked and busy. Like on your socials. Right, right. Should, that should be the thing. It's 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 all blessings and good, but like with Kayam starting high school now and trying to make sure I'm paying attention to what to he's him. doing and them high school girls and everything. I that's saw that going. video you posted. Oh my god. When he what was he trying? I feel he like was, he's been trying to hang out with girls since he's like twelve. That's all he wants to do is hang out with girls and trying to do stuff. So I'm. But are they like, around? Are the girls around? Oh yeah, I heard that at his school they have like a whole group chat of girls just talking about like how they gonna get to Cayenne. Like there's a, literally a group chat in the school about how they gonna get to Cayenne. So what is he doing? Is he managing it? Is he like, are, are you allowing any of them in your home? Like what's happening? No, he says I'm a strict parent, which I'm like, I'm a cool parent. He's he's my best friend, but I still let him know like I'm your mom first. Yeah. But I want him to have leeway, but no, we're not doing. So he's not dating yet? No, hell no. He's in high school. He's in the ninth grade, he's 14. Like, I don't know right, about dating Because he's mad 14. tall. He looks 17. Yeah, he looks older, but he's 14. Like, dating how? He asked me the other day, he's like, Ma, can we have a, a hotel party? I'm like, what, what? planet do you live on? <laughs> Why is where he the fuck are we okay? having a hotel party? Sorry, sorry. I'm like, where are we doing a hotel party? Like, what's up well, with you? Well, listen. In the kid's defense, he hasn't had a regular life, first of all. He hasn't had a regular life. He has seen the greatest of the greatness. He's seen the greatest of the greatness. And, and so he knows what's possible he out here. He knows what's possible, but we're not doing no hotel parties. <laughs> Is he, I, you was not letting Nico go to the hotel party no. in the ninth grade. You might not even let him go to one now. I have no choice. I have no control He's anymore. In college. He lives away from me, out of my home. He's I don't know like, what. Right now, I don't know what's happening he over there. I don't know what he's doing. Are you ready for that? No. I, it happens so fast, right? It's my like, G, you're not even sudden, ready. You just look up and it's and like. And they don't live in your house. That's Now that part's crazy. That's part What are you going to do? Go have my own life finally. <laughs> I can finally go out. Maybe I'll go on a date. Maybe I can do something. A date would be nice. A date would be awesome. I think about this about you a lot because I know you a long time and I know your work ethic. Mm. You've always, since I've known you, your work ethic's been on 100. Yeah. Right, but you have, like you said, you have Cayenne at home that you, Mm -hmm. and you're hands on with your, and it's not like sometimes people get this big career. Right. And then they lose the foundation, right? And you have somehow managed your family's intact, you're close with your mom, your (laughs) kid. Yeah. How? I think it's just growing up in such a close family. Like, that's all I know is family. And they've yeah. stepped in and helped me so much with Cayenne. And I don't feel right not being present for him. So, like I told you, I'll fly to L.A. tonight, shoot something, come right back so I could be at his game or his practice. It's just important to me. And even when I'm working, if I feel detached from him, my work is not good because my mind is there. I want to make sure he's good. So it all has to flow for me to be great at what I do as well. A lot. There's literally not enough hours in the day. I know. It's impossible. I know. And you think I could get a date? <laughs> I've thought about this for you because I see you and you're like in 17 shows it's at crazy. the same time. It's crazy. It's not enough fucking hours in a day. It's not enough hours in a day, but somehow, you know. And you're a friend, like a real friend <laughs> to so many people. That's another reason I got to fly back because Kim is hosting Saturday Night Live. Oh, wait, what? she's doing that here. So you're coming yeah, back so here I gotta for that. Yeah, so I got to come back. I want to be there, you know, to support her. That's a big, big That's a moment. big deal. And yeah. she's not, as much as people think she's like a, yeah. she's not an exhibitionist in terms no. of like, she's, she's not in rehearsal. She's working hard. She's yeah. getting it done. But also just trying to be like funny, funny on the spot. Like, that's not easy. Funny on the spot. And she's not like a performer <laughs> that way. <laughs> right. Like, she gets uncomfortable. Right, in that. right. So it's going to be it's gonna So be is fun. she going to be good? What is your prediction of Kim on Saturday Night Live? If I you- think I think she's going to be great because people will be able to see a little bit more of, like, her personality mm. outside of the reality show. Yeah. And she does have a really fun, funny personality that I don't think people get to see often. So I think it'll be a good thing for people to see. Like, the person I know and the person I see. Yeah. Is she doing skits? No. Just- She's everything. Good. Really? Everything. Yeah. Wow, yeah, everything. Kim. Everything. There was a story today that said that Kanye is coaching her. He might be. He might, <laughs> he might be. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. The thing about Kim is she's going to, whatever it takes to, whatever to it deliver takes. and to get it done, yes. she's, she's going to get that exactly. done. Exactly. And yeah, and then I got to go right back to L.A. I'm shooting a movie in L.A., so I'm just kind of back and forth. Good for you, baby. Thank Can you. we talk about some of these shows? Yes, so, of course. La La Booked and Busy La La <laughs> is currently in The Shy. Yes. BMF. <laughs> The Wu Tang Show, uh, you are in Grownish. 
<laughs> what am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything? Because those are the TV shows. It's a lot of damn shows. Yeah, those, you know, the thing is, it happened like this. After Power, I was on Power for six seasons. Mm-hmm. I wanted to give myself time to be on different shows because with Power, I loved it, but I played the same character. I played Lakeisha for six seasons, which I love. But going on these other shows gave me opportunities to play different, different characters things, and yeah. have more fun with the acting. Like, you know, grownish, a uh, uh, fashion entrepreneur, Wu Tang, a music executive, BMF. Drug dealer girlfriend again. Like it gave That's me fun. opportunity to it's always Drug fun. Drug dealer girlfriend's fun. And then it's good outfits. My favorite. It is your favorite. They're like, La, you you're so good in this role. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe La. I know something about this. Don't 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 date a drug dealer. Now that you're single, don't do that. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Let me just leave that alone. <laughs> just no, leave not, that alone. I don't need to date a drug dealer. No. But it's nice to do these other roles. Mm-hmm. And now I'm at a place where I'm trying to, you know, BMF will be my home home. Like I'll be a series regular on se- season two and just be back with 50, which is, yeah. you know, my comfort zone. He's who I've worked with for years. He's one of my best friends, my producing partner, you know, yeah, everything. Talk to me about your relationship with him because 50, as we all know, is a very interesting personality. <laughs> right. And like, a, like almost like a landmine. Like, I feel, and I know 50, and I love 50, and right. I get it. But also, I've always, as cool as we are, I've always been very careful to not <laughs> piss him off too much right. or just, you know, just make sure we're right. in a good See, place. See, I passed that. I mean, it's seven, we calculated the other day. We've been friends for 17 years. So, and strictly friends. There's never been anything else. You, you know, never tried. Ne- and that's what's never tried. Why, never why do you think? Probably because I we'll hook them up with like friends and oh got it okay so, so you like, set those boundaries yeah, making, at I'm the like, beginning you can have that you can do this okay. but it's really a friendship and a business relationship and he's just so great to me and one of the people that tells me like I'm gonna do something and really does it you know we're in an industry where it's always like and I got you I'm a man and then yeah, right. nothing ever happens with him it's like I'm doing a show called Power you're gonna audition and you're gonna be on it audition I was on I'm doing BMF you gotta be on it you're gonna like everything he says really happens and I just respect that about him yeah. but I also have but a what, relationship but what is that like what do you think what do you think he see cause he saw something mm-hmm, in you early mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it wasn't just the Lala's hot right now let me put her in the show right. he clearly saw I think it's like the grind and the hustle, him coming on TRL in the beginning of Get Rich and Die Trying Days and me being there interviewing him and him just really recognizing, same thing you said, like my hustle and me kind of reinventing myself so many different times to stay relevant in this crazy industry. And I think he's just been like, he I want to help it. her and I respect her and like me not doing it any other way but really hard work. Mm-hmm. And I think he respects that. And I also that. tell him, I tell him when I'm like, do you? You go, because you going be far right now. You <laughs> going far right now. And also sometimes I give him a female perspective. Like this is why females didn't like when you said that. Sometimes people just need to understand it. Like yeah. not yelling at him or like what you do. Like this is why that didn't go over well. Let me explain to you why. And he's and he's open to it. He's very open to it. The one thing I think people don't haven't seen about him is he. And I've seen this side of him too. He's um. He likes to talk things through. Oh, he loves it. Like, if you're his friend, you're probably on the phone with him for hours. <laughs> so you do know him. No, you I do, do know, know this no, about I it. I do know yeah. the side of him. When he calls, I better not have anything to do for, like, two hours because that's not a quick phone call. And it's always, like, we start at one place, and when I'm done, I'm like, damn, we hit a hundred different points. We covered a hundred different things, but I feel, like, energized and refreshed. But it's never just a quick one too yeah, yeah. it's not that i find it fascinating yeah i do yeah. but i i like that you guys have the relationship because i think he gets a, a rap for like he'll flip on anybody yeah people who are on his show people who he's been in business I, i've with been for able to years, dodge all the bullets and you've somehow. dodged all the bullets but oh, it shows to me that fifth is capable he's capable of having that he's type capable. of friendship he's capable it's very nice to see yes yes and shout out to him because bmf is on now it's an amazing show and season two we start filming that in atlanta on um, top of the year so yeah it's exciting it, one episode aired and already got picked up for season two which is incredible the numbers were so high that's so great. So it's good. No, you got a little touch. You got you got a little something. You got, <laughs> the blessings are on you, man. Thank you. And then the um in the Wu Tang show, you play an executive, Tracy Waples, who I we know, like, which is like wow. When I when RZA hit me, you know, first he was like music executive, then he told me, I'm like, it's different when you know the person. Yeah, I was and wondering like, how do you like, go about? I that? remember like seeing her in action and how powerful she was and everything she did. So RZA did put me on. Uh, the phone with her and I really got to talk through moments like what were you thinking here or what really happened here and that was really helpful because when you're playing a real person you want to do that justice and it's real things that happen it's not just me and my mind creating these mm-hmm. moments that really happen so I really relied on talking to her and it really you know helped me what, you, what was the best thing she told you about that role that character that space I think like for me and 
you remind me of this too it's like being the only female in such a male driven industry and even back then there wasn't a lot of females mm -hmm. and like having to stand your ground and it wasn't about like who you sleep and what it is is really about the business and making sure everyone around you respected that and understood that mm -hmm. so it took me to that place because I mean still having to prove myself but even back then I remember that feeling and mm -hmm. like I don't want to be the girl that just sleeps around. I want to be the girl that's known for my work and my hustle. And yeah. she really spoke a lot about that. Imagine being the only female around, like, the Wu-Tang when they were first starting. Like, mm. it's just some crazy times. Yeah, no, it was nuts. Nuts. And it's such, and it's good, too. They got another season, too, right? Yeah, so that's airing now on, on Hulu on Wednesday. So, so it's super exciting to be a part of that. And it's everything I love. Music, I started music. Music is what I love. So I to know. be on all these shows that are still rooted in music keeps me in that world too and I do other things like movies and oh, other you stuff do everything that, right, I do other stuff. <laughs> no you do everything but at Lala. the core I feel happy when I'm doing hair in, shows do everything you're doing movies <laughs> books everything but at the core that's when I feel my happy happiest because yeah. I still feel in touch with music and the world and everything can we talk about a part of you that you are really locked into right now and it's sexy Lala <laughs> You are so <laughs> tapped into this bitch. <laughs> you are tapped, tapped all the way in, in the best way. And I see people react to it in a way like she's on one right now. Like to say that you are on one one. What is that rooted in? Well, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I haven't really talked much about this, but I am in a new phase and chapter in my life. Like I didn't think at this phase I would be entering into being single and and dating and trying to see what life is like. I didn't think that was going to happen, but life happens and things happen. Were. I was locked into my marriage and things happen, so now I got to readjust, so I can't be out here looking <laughs> too crazy. I, I'm trying to get some DMs popping. I'm trying to see what's going on. I could only imagine what is happening in Lala's DMs right now. No, I would love to you go don't to want dinner. To. No, I do want to know. No, I want to go. I want to go to dinner, have drinks with you. Just look through I just want to look through your shit. And you I will never, my friends and I will never tell that. a soul. No, I know you wouldn't. You, you know, you're I a know. vault. I'm a vault, yeah. right? I would you never would, tell a You would be like this. <laughs> I would have the greatest time. <laughs> We should do that one day. We that. should do that one day. Can we please do that? Yeah, can we you can. tell me one thing? They don't have to tell the person. Mm -hmm. One crazy thing that has happened in your DMs has to have happened. I think it's more sometimes I can pull DMs up with friends of mine and it's the same message in each one of our DMs from a person. Like, what do you just copy and paste? Like, la la, this one, that one. And it's literally the same oh, exact so message. Like, so, like, you and Meg are having drinks. Right. And, and it's the same the DM same from the same person. Some, it's exactly, the same DM? Exactly. Word for word. Emoji and everything. So it's oh. like, what is this? A copy and paste thing? That's and like, disgusting. you don't think I'm going to ask my friend, you know, like that kind of stuff. That's just like, I need you to put a little bit more effort in, be a little bit more creative. That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Yes, exactly. DMing, I, won't, I a, won't expose. A woman of la la stature, <laughs> and you copy and paste, paste it. I'm not a copy and paste type bitch. Disgusting. <laughs> I bet you with somebody super high profile, too. <laughs> That's nuts, Look, like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Sometimes I feel bad for Mel because people always in the comments are like, whenever you look really good, <laughs> they're like, he's somewhere, you know, doing the... I don't think he is. You know? I don't you think, think he's he fine. is. I think he's living his life. He's in LA, he's with the Lakers. And it's the just... thing about Mel and I is like, when you've been with somebody for so long and we started as best friends, I love that we still have that friendship. We're yeah. raising a kid together. It's no drama with us. It's no beef. I talk to him as I talk to, you know, like my close friend and we still have that because your family still family and that's important because right. i want kyan to be able to see that and how's kyan deal with all of that it's 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 a transition but mm -hmm. i think now has been long enough to where he's used to it and going into high school now he's having his own life and friends and schedule mm -hmm. that it's like i just want my mom and my dad to be happy whatever that means and as long as we have our family group text and we get along great he sees that that makes him feel good it's yeah. not like I'm talking bad about his dad or vice versa. We we would never do that. Yeah. If you guys are okay, it kind of yeah. makes him be okay. Yeah. And anytime I got to curse him out, I just don't do it do on it the on group the side. Chat. Exactly. There's a funny little meme of you at the game. Oh, my God. That was the crazy. What was happening there? The truth is, Cayenne called. He's like, Mom, turn the phone around. I want Dad to see me. And I just did. And I think I, like, glanced off somewhere. I just You're looked like, like <laughs> I was just so <laughs> annoyed and aggravated. Like, I laughed so much about that. But it's like memes. They catch you. I Probably just somebody called my name. And I just looked over. <laughs> and it was just like <laughs> it's really good topic. Though. I was like, oh it's my actually God. pretty funny. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> it's is. But good. I was like, damn. Now I'm a meme. <laughs> La, you are, and you're so. 
you know everybody, you've seen everything. Like, who do you even date? How do you even, have you started? I mean, are you in the market? Like, what is, I haven't what is the honestly, criteria? Honestly, I haven't started dating. I don't, this is a new world. Like, remember, like, when I what got it, with Mel, it wasn't Instagram, right. DM. You meet people differently now. It's Could not you like, imagine? it's crazy. So it's like, I'm just trying to figure out what is my space in this new world of, like, dating, dating and, like, I don't know. Guys don't really put the same amount of effort in yeah. anymore. It's too easy to DM, like, come through. And all right, so if you got 100 girls saying, all right, what you going to go extra for this person for? You know, it's like figuring it out. But I promise you, I say it's the wild, wild west out here. Yeah, like, yeah. this shit is crazy. How are you about love, though, and that? Like, do you feel like you'd ever do it again that deep, be married? Like, or do you feel like you've already did that? Because like, people I feel differently like, after It's funny marriage. because I was... I was wearing these rings for a long time that said fuck love on them. Like it's, it literally said fuck love. And my therapist was like, you have to take those off. And by the way, I have them on now. But you he's still like, have one? you can't manifest that. Like you're going to find love again. But after you've been through what I went through, which was public and really hard, you do start feeling like that. And you see how people can become like jaded and like, you know, maybe it's not for me, but I want to always stay positive. Marriage. I don't think I could do that ever really? again. I mean, some like amazing person would have to come. I don't see that happening mm -hmm. again. But I don't know what God has in store for me. And True. I'm just living and taking care of my son and whatever's supposed to be will be. I don't try to like put too much emphasis on it because mm -hmm. then you just start accepting anything because you're just like, I don't want to be alone. So I'm just going to be with whoever or just have people around. Like I don't yeah. have the time to just have random energy and people around yeah 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 i want it to be the, the right thing you are booked and busy you don't got time for <laughs> no bullshit no bullshit right well wait your ring says fuck love and you still have it on <laughs> and my therapist told me Let i shouldn't be it. wearing this look it says fuck love <laughs> like, you're manifesting that in the universe lala you have to take those rings off and by the way the love is on the middle finger exactly <laughs> but after what i went through you'll be wearing the same rings so i'm like people going crazy out here it's so funny. And you've seen a lot because you're friends with a lot of guys, too. We both That's came it. up in the game. So right. we also, even if I'm going to be honest, and you tell me if you're comfortable about this, but even in, you, even in your marriage and your relationship, you were always kind of like, um, I don't know, just very aware of guys. Because right. I, I remember even seeing you in an interview one time saying, I can't worry about right. what he's doing. I have right. to worry, focus on me. You always were kind of aware of that, which also could be read as guarded. Yeah, I was aware of it, but then it's like when it kind of happened to me the way it did, I was surprised because that wasn't our relationship. I was aware of it. We talked through things. I'm like, be careful out here. We were together since Mello was 19 years old. So mm, I grew up with him and trying to guide him through like, like I'm trying to also be really wifey and friend because we started off as friends. Like, be careful out here. So then when shit pops off, it's like, damn. Like, But it's been years now since I then know. like to a lot of people it feels like this single thing is new like it's been years now that we've separated and stuff so i've yeah. dealt with the emo emotions behind it and i still have my moments but for the most part i can talk about it now and laugh about it and find mm -hmm. you know the humor in it all otherwise i'll be a basket case you have to i already yeah. went through that i already went through that part were you really bad yeah. i was bad because it was public i was bad because there were other people involved that was bad because there were allegations it was it got bad and you know i'm not a person to ever put my business on social media i'm not a person who ever i've never spoke this is the first time i've spoken I know, about it by the I way know. i've got offered red table talk this i've oh, never talked about it but wow you're my Sorry. friend and i'm comfortable but it's like you know so many times you do want to say oh you guys really want to know what happened you want to mm -hmm. hear it from me but you hold it in and it's like oh la's doing good she looked good on the gram it's like no, that shit hit me really hard. You that, never know what people are going through. You never through know. And that home. came out of nowhere. It wasn't expected. And, you know, I've heard so many times, like, even a lawyer said once, well, he he's a basketball player. What did you expect? And I'm like, to be honest, I didn't expect that. I didn't go into this marriage expect, expecting that. Mm -hmm. So I was caught off guard. Yeah. And then how do you heal from that? Time. Like, because, by the way, as we're sitting here and people are watching you talk about this, it's mad people trying to heal from it's time something. It's, it's time it's finding love and passion and other things for me it's my son and work so i go head first into that stay mm -hmm. busy it's time it's therapy you know it's mm -hmm. always been a stigma around therapy but it's helpful to talk to just a neutral person and people get it are all starting out. to really be comfortable yeah. and open about talking yeah, about and it, it. Yeah. it's helpful like i would come out i mean it would be hard like you got to bring it all out but i would come out feeling like lighter and better and just utilizing therapy and mm -hmm time and just allowing myself to feel the feelings that you feel when you go through it was 
with him for 15 years. Yeah, it's tough. Like, that was hard. Yeah. They but, say divorce is like uh, death. Like, what, yeah, I, like I forget what it's mourning. like moving. It's like yeah. death, moving, and divorce are the three most challenging. It is. Like, emotional is. things that it you is. go through. And yeah. then, you know, but then you realize how strong you are and resilient, and mm-hmm. you bounce back, and then you check in DMs and trying to go on a date. So it's like, you're comparing DMs with your girlfriends to see if they got the exactly. copy and paste. Exactly. You're gonna be great, and you're strong, you. and you're strong, Thank and you're like you. resilient. And Thank you. I feel like if people tried to stop you to doing what you had your mindset, it can't happen. No, 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 it can't happen. I mean, I'm just I'm so focused on what I want to do and my goals. Yeah. But also now in my life, and I don't know if you're you've experienced this, but like I'm just trying to find that balance because I think we come from just work, 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 and grind, mm-hmm. grind, grind, that I'm allowing myself time to take a trip here and there and not feel guilty about it or, like, go somewhere and just more me time where before it's like, I can't do that. I got to work all the time. I don't have a day off. I can't do anything. Yeah. Now well, no, it's I'm... about, like, enjoying my hard work that yeah. put me in a position to be able to do these kind of things. But I'm on the gram like, damn, people always on trips, vacation. I'm like, yeah. where am I? Where, what beach? Are, like, they everywhere. I don't do shit. Like, I don't go anywhere. That's a lie. Well, your Instagram, it seems well, like, because you in a bathing suit, la. Sometimes where I'm are a, you? By the way, sometimes a... I'm in a bathing suit in my backyard, okay? <laughs> like, sometimes that shit is in my backyard. Like, I just want to put something on the gram today. I'm thinking you're like in the middle of the Mediterranean or the French, now, sometimes French Sometimes I'll be in some good places, but for the most part, that shit might be in my backyard. That is a, that is a damn shame because I really <laughs> thought you was living your best life. You got every bathing suit. Every bathing suit. <laughs> whatever, look, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. But you have really like reinvented yourself many times in your career. Is that Thank a conscious you. thing or is it just kind of reflects where you are in your life? It's just like when I get comfortable in something, I want to try something else. And right now for the last few years, it's really been about acting and growing in that space and mm. producing. So I'm focused on that. But like the radio thing, I, I loved it. Then I got comfortable. I was like, I want to do TV now. Mm-hmm. Then I do the TV thing. Now I want to do acting. I'm always trying to find what's going to continue to challenge me. Yeah, I and get that. And that's kind of what keeps me you know going moving and going yeah and yeah. not bored i know no that's good you can't mm-hmm. be and how can't can you be. be you got 17 can't jobs there's can't no way be. you're bored can't ever be. can't be all right so we have bmf oh what about halloween halloween's coming are you doing your party so lenny and i are talking okay you should call him because he's trying to move it to la and i'm like oh, i'm from new york you're so la he's lenny. so la now i'm like what i'm happened? from new york i want to do a new york halloween party oh la is the move this and that i, I love la but i'm not I didn't get bit by that whole L.A. bug. But like, you're in New York now, right? I'm in New, you're York. New York. I yeah. love living in New York. I'm from New York. It feels good to be home, but he wants to do it in L.A., so we'll see what happens. Come on, Len. I know. Do you have an outfit yet? Not yet. No? I it, thought this was something you thought about. No, no, I've put... been thinking about it. Oh. It's got to be like a moment. I've been thinking about it, so it's <laughs> going to be something great. You just don't have it yet. Just don't have it yet. Okay. You're going to kill it, I'm sure. Thank you. All right, so then what's next? So you said you're doing a movie? Can you so, say what that is or no? Yeah, so I just signed on to Eddie Murphy and Jonah Hill's new movie. Wow! So I'm excited about that. That's, that's big. a big one. You know, for me, it's like, damn, Eddie Murphy? Like, that's What's crazy. the role? Is it like a... So I play, like, one of the friends of... It's, it's basically a take on Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? Uh-huh. And Kenya Barris is directing it, Got which it. is amazing. And I did Gronish with him. But it's so ex- it's exciting because I play, like, the friend of the guess who's coming to dinner the girl and like she's with a white guy and how the family dynamics after that so it's gonna be fun i'm excited to just laugh and be on a set with a lot of laughter and stuff like that it's gonna be good and what do you what are your goals with because i know you're doing so much acting and you and it's been that's another been an evolution of your Mm -hmm. career you started Mm -hmm. with this i kind of want to and right you just out here on the grind and now you're on seven shows so is there the next level of like what are you looking at just to continue to get get better, better continue to perfect the craft as much as i can go to classes work with you're still doing that 100 yeah, yeah. and just really digging in and understanding what it means to like immerse yourself in these roles not like oh, i'm going to shoot today then i'm gonna go do this then i'm gonna go do that like it doesn't work yeah. like that like really putting myself in that place and i'm watching when i do that what happens after that mm-hmm. i'm booking eddie murphy Kenya Barris movies. I'm Are you booking still, these do you still have to audition? Sometimes I do. Uh-huh. Most times I kind of do. Like I can get to the producers, but I do have to audition. Nothing is like handed to me. I had to audition for Power, and it was fifty. I still had to audition. Right. Yeah, and, but that was then. I feel like from who yeah, you, who but, you but were I when still you started have to. as an actor. Yeah, I think for certain now. roles they'll know like, oh, La could do this. But then there's others that they're like, 
let's see if La could do this. So I do audition. And I'm not afraid of it because I want to prove myself. I don't want to wait. You don't have to hand me anything. Yeah, I'm going to sure. work hard and prove and, and prove myself. So when I did Grownish, I played the fashion, you know, the head of this fashion empire. And I was like, it was so different for me from what people saw me as. And then I got the call for the Eddie Murphy movie. So it's like it all kind of. It works. That's so great. Yeah. And are we going to see more of you on BMF? We're going to see a yeah. lot. So okay. this season, not so much, but season two, it's definitely a main character. Okay. And you'll see me a lot with the whole Meech and Terry and their their dynamic. It's going to get fun. And Cash Doll is on BMF yes. also. Yes. Cash Doll had to do a little, like, uh, titties out scene. I had to do that, too. You on had power, to do power. On power, which I was like, well, I talked, the day she shot the sex scene, I was on set, mm. and I talked her through it, and she was so... But what does great. that sound like? What, what, what is talking through somebody that, that type of shot? What does that sound like? To be like? honest with you, yeah. it's like, suck your stomach in, make okay. sure you know your angles, <laughs> make sure you arch your back. It's, that's what it sounds... And that's what people want to know. Like, yeah. you want to look good in a sex scene. Like, yeah. Yeah, you want to be in it, but you want to look good. Yeah. So that's what it was about. And so just what not do you have nervous. to do again? You have to suck. suck your stomach in, know your angles, arch your back, arch your make back. sure the camera's not shooting up where you have like a double chin and you looking all crazy. Like you just, over time, you start learning like your angles when it comes to stuff like that. Got it. You want to look she good. She was probably so appreciative of this oh, she, information. She, was, like, she tells everyone like, La, really, and I'm so, you know, somebody did that for me. So I'm so appreciative. Who did that for you? Who was telling me about the first sex scene? Somebody on notorious Power. Maybe somebody? Notorious. Yeah. yeah, it was probably Notorious. Story, who I'm still, you know, very close with and yeah. just coach me through it. Can you imagine all of a sudden you just taking your clothes off in a room full of people? It's just scary. And then if you're like arching the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, you look at all like, crazy and it's like, okay, make this noise now. And now you're just like, what is going on here? <laughs> this is crazy. But she killed it. You know, she's, she's doing, doing well. She's doing so good. I really like her too. She's so such do a I. dope girl. I'm so, so happy for her. So do I. And really there's just more her. opportunities for great people. So it's great. You befriend a lot of the women in the game, a lot of the women, female rappers, mm -hmm. and you were in the Meg video. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always see you in like just encouraging right. them and befriending right. them. And I think it's important. Like I'm all about female empowerment mm -hmm. and uplifting each other. There's enough room for everybody, you know. Sure. But also, I'm not an artist, so I'm able to be in that world, and I'm not a competition because I'm right, not an right, artist. Right, so right, I'm right. able to just be friends with everybody and just show love and I think people realize it's, it's genuine. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing out of it. I just want to see people win. No, I love that. Yeah. I love that about you. We saw you at the Tiana Taylor Pretty Little Things. Yes, fashion show. Fashion show. That was fun. And you and her are close too, right? Very close. So I'm coming out with my own collection with Pretty Little Things. That's what I I'm going to. I love this. That's for what you. I'm going to LA for. And what's great about I Tiana? Want all the pieces, of course. And Tiana is. I love Tiana stuff. Yeah, she's creative directing yeah. all my stuff because she's the creative director. Mm -hmm. So it all kind of worked out. So are you collaborating on the pieces? Yeah, like the pieces and together, and then you know, with her production, you know, she does all the videos, the video content, and the billboards and everything. I'm just like, you take control of all that. Mm -hmm. Just tell me. What to do, how to look, where to be, because I'm I'm so impressed with everything, you know, that she's done with her company. So good. Yeah, so she's that's so, going to be exciting. She's so dope. So we're shooting that this week. Would you do, because I, I know you did the Skims uh, mm -hmm. ad, mm -hmm. and I wonder, would you and Kim, have you and Kim worked together at all in any? So just on, on the some of the Skims stuff, but yeah. we haven't put a product together yet, but it's definitely something I feel we, like that's. We've been talking about it. Wanted to, it's got to make sense, but we've been talking sell, about it. You could sell any, sell a lip gloss. You can sell 7 million lip glosses <laughs> in 30 seconds. I know, I know. I'm talking to her. I'm talking to her about some stuff. There's so, I mean, but I guess you have to be particular about, right? You, you don't want to. You got to be particular. You want it to make sense. You don't want to be a person that's just shoving anything down people's throats. Buy this, buy that. You know, you want it to feel like, okay, yeah. that makes sense for them or that makes sense for her. So you just got to go about it the right way. Because nowadays, everybody's selling every, <laughs> everything every five minutes. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, though, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in on a game. Don't worry about that. It's <laughs> just gonna be the the right thing. The for right sure. thing. The Pretty Little Things is a great. Yeah, collab, and I'm excited. So like that, that partnership has been amazing. The collection is great, and like I said, with Tiana Creative directing everything, I'm. I think people are gonna be really excited. No, about that's it. super fly. Yeah. All right. So, so when do we see? When are we gonna see the uh, Pretty Little Things thing? So that'll come out probably um, in November, like you know, Dope. right before the holiday. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa, I, and I saw all the, you know, I always read the comments. I'm like a comic girl. You read the comments? <laughs> not Why all do you of, do that? Not all of them, because I think that's the most interesting part of social I guess, media. But I guess reading the comments one is not about you. It's interesting. Oh, I never, you, that's I my point. No, no, See, no, no. when the, you read the comments about yourself, no, it's the no, worst no. shit if of all time. If somebody like picks up, especially if like Shade Room or something, will pick up a clip of the show, I, I don't ever, I can't read you the comments. I don't read you the can't. comments. Otherwise, it's like. But when I'm scrolling. It's different. 
and you especially read when it's not about you. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, but especially because we hadn't, we didn't really see a lot of Vanessa right. after Kobe passed immediately after that. And then when we saw her with you and Sierra and looking like she was having some joy mm-hmm. and being with mm-hmm. friends and laughing, I mm-hmm. think everybody was happy to see that. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's necessary. I mean, with such a tragedy like that, you know, you have to find life again and figure out what can make you happy and I mean Mm -hmm. it's not that she's not thinking about that and going through that every second but she's allowed to smile sometimes she's allowed to laugh sometimes and I've been friends with her what maybe 15 years like this is Mm -hmm. not a new friendship yeah people didn't know that though yeah I mean years and years because Kobe and Mel were so close got it so you know I just wanted to always be there and continue to be there for her because I can't even wrap my mind around what what that is no none of us none no of way us, no way you know i'm like if i could just bring laughter and humor for a small part of part of the day then i feel like i'm i'm doing my job you have that thing about you because i remember when junior when they murdered junior yeah um mm-hmm. guzman mm-hmm. um you showed up and took his sister out mm-hmm. and became friends Genesis. with his sister yeah, of course um, i love her yeah so you have like this what sign are you? I'm a cancer. So that's it right <laughs> there. Is can- that's why I'm like, oh, she's friends with everybody. She- I'm a cancer. Cancers are just like the most nurturing, loving yeah. people. And I just love who I love and who I love. I love hard and I'm going to go hard for it. That's just like, that's cancer shit. But do you feel like also uh, you feel like people's pain in a way? It's yeah, almost I do. like, yeah. I too. And sometimes I'm like, this is a lot. I'm taking on a lot because I do feel it. But it brings me joy to be able to bring happiness to people and be able to feel like people can depend and rely on me like that makes me feel good and I want to be that person so that's Mm -hmm. that's the cancer in me for sure what does your therapist say about that deal with your own shit (laughs) (laughs) deal with your own shit Lala excellent advice I'm like this actually keeps me from having to deal with my own shit I can listen to all your problems all day long and I don't gotta think about all the shit I got going on (laughs) I think we're all guilty of that sometimes. Yeah, of course. We're all guilty of, course. of that. But, you know, you still are doing good in the meantime yes. of it, so it yes. all works out. You're going to be fine, La. Thank you. You're going to find love again. You think so? You're going to be in a big, <laughs> big movies. Thank you. Thank you. And you're going to take vacation in a real place. Yeah, not my backyard. Not your backyard. <laughs> okay. Go on vacation, woman. But I will. The next time we have an interview, you're going to tell me I all just about got the back places. From this amazing place. I got it. Yeah, you got, got it. it. Love you, mama. Congrats on everything. I love you, too. I'm so glad I came up here to talk to you. One time for Lala, everybody. Yay! Thanks, family. I was about to say Lala. It's still Lala Anthony. It's still Lala Anthony. It will stay Lala Anthony? We'll see. I put a lot of fucking years for that name. (laughs) You ain't taking that shit that easy. We'll see what happens. Lala Anthony, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.